This camera was made for lefties. There is no shot I'm packing all of this. Where is it all going? guys it's Coda and welcome back to my channel anyways chefs I have something super super exciting planned I am going to Arizona for 10 full days yes Arizona I've never been to Arizona I'm really excited because I've always wanted to see the Grand Canyon because what even is the Grand Canyon anyways Let's just get right into what this video is. I am leaving for 10 days, which means I have so much to pack and so much to prep. So I thought I would take you guys along for the ride, since I have a camera now, and do a little pack and prep video. Of course you will be getting all of the Arizona vlogs. I'm sure I'll make about three to four of them because I am there for quite a few days. <laughs> but... Right now we're going to do a pack and prep, everything I'm packing, everything I think I need, all my plane essentials, everything I'm buying beforehand, what I'm wearing to the airport, uh, the whole nine yards, you feel me? So, let's get right into that. As you saw, I have all my clothes laid out, so first we're going to sort those out, figure out how I want to pack them. I'm not doing the skincare and the hair stuff and all that last minute stuff till the very end since I need that till the very end I actually don't leave for a few days but I work all week so I know myself after work I I literally lay right down in my bed um so oh God. just to remind you guys of all the stuff I have my god basically here I have some sweaters uh, some sets I have a few hoodies these are just random items that I want to bring as, like, staple pieces. Two club outfits, because I don't think I will be going out and clubbing very much on this trip. That's not what it's about. Then I have all of these, and I actually have it set up where I have outfits picked out for everything. You know, every pair of jeans has a shirt and a sweater and a pair of shoes. I did it that way just so that I know for a fact I have 10 full outfits. I'm sure I'll mix and match them, and I don't plan to pack them that way. I just needed them lined up like that so that I could really get a good feel. And then over here, <laughs> I have my content that I'm going to be taking, obviously, because amazing views, Airbnb is fire. I'm very excited. And I don't know how I'm bringing all of these shoes, but I'm bringing all of these shoes, apparently. So the way I like to pack usually is using a bunch of old shopping bags that I have. Not like those tie around, but the Ziploc ones that when you like online shop and it gets shipped to you that you get. I like to separate my stuff like that because I feel like it keeps everything way more organized. I don't have any suitcase organizers. That is going to be something I buy for my next trip for sure. But I like to separate it that way so that my stuff isn't all combined boggled in a pile even though because I'm there for 10 days I think I'm just gonna unpack everything when I arrive but we're going to pack like that that's my smartest option I don't know how I, I really don't know how I'm doing this we're let's just get into it and see what happens okay so I have all of these bags to put things in I just now need to decide how I want to separate them in order to pack them I feel like pants are too big to put in bags like this, so I think I might just let the pants, like, run around loosey-goosey in my bag because, like I said, I think I'm going to unpack everything and, like, put it on the shelves and in the closet and shit when I get to the Airbnb. Ugh! I haven't even started yet and I'm frustrated. Okay, 
We're good. We're good. have reached the point where I've decided I need to re, re yeah I knew the stutter would come soon because my brain is mush we need to revamp my bag I need to take things out oh god fuck how how so even with taking out clothes and switching things in and out of my suitcase it is still Pack to the motherfucking brim. I would zip it up and like check it, but I don't have batteries in my scale right now, so I won't know until Wednesday when I buy these batteries. And I think I'm just gonna bite the bullet and pay the extra however much it is if I'm overweight because I physically can't take anything else out. And now my duffel bag is filled with most of my shoes and when I, I I still have my hair stuff my jewelry my makeup my laptop the bags and this to pack so I'm starting to stress out I'm gonna keep going at it right now um, it's not very interesting it's kind of just me walking in circles and standing and staring into space for a few minutes thinking so I will update you guys again when I figure out what the fuck is going on, to be honest. The current situation. I decided to stack everything up just to get it out of my way because I physically cannot do this anymore. I am tired, my legs hurt, my brain hurts, everything hurts. So I'm gonna work tomorrow <laughs> and um, not touch a damn thing and then I'm gonna come back to it again on Wednesday. And then I have all day Thursday to go shopping, get everything I need, do the finishing touches, and make sure that my bag is of weight and I have everything I need. So I will update you guys in a few days, but I need to motherfucking sleep because I'm done with this. Hello, my beautiful besties. We are getting right back into it. It is 7 p.m. on Wednesday, which means it is 12 hours until I leave for the airport. Yay. I don't know why my energy is so low today. I think I woke up on the wrong side of the bed, and I just know I have so much to do. So, this is all the stuff I still need to bring. Um... My bag is 52 pounds. I'm going to just beg, 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 beg. And I have to fit all this into the that duffel, which is already filled with all my sneakers. And that bag, which I wanted to keep light because my electronics go in it. But I guess we'll see. So I've got to finish packing. I've got to hit Target and pick up all the little last minute things that I need. 
and I also still need to cop another cart because I didn't anticipate opening my new cart before leaving, but I've already opened it, and I'm going to be there for 10 days. I don't know how dispensaries work. I don't know if weed's legal. I don't know anything about Arizona besides that there's a Grand Canyon, so I need to cop buds. Buds and a cart, because when I get back, I also need Bud without having to cop. I know I'm going to need Bud. Um, and I've got to hit this boy up because I wanted to see him before I left for Arizona. Not sure if he'll forget about me within 10 days. I mean, if he does, does it really matter? Probably not. But my feelings will be hurt because I do have a crush on this guy. I shouldn't, but I do. Um, so, I've got a lot of shit to do on my list, and I want to have all that done quite early so let's get into it besties whoa i fucking love these even though i think they're making me break out let's go on tiktok live while i do this I follow my new TikTok, by the way, guys. <clears throat> my old one got banned. 30K! So annoying. Um, it's like my 15th TikTok, though, so. I'm gonna hop on live on my Spooky Barbie account. Um, and tell people to follow my new TikTok. So make sure you guys go follow that. Because I can't stream until I get to 1K. And y'all know me, I need every platform that I can stream on possible because I'm obsessed with talking to you people. Packing for AZ, that's working me in the stream. Whoa. Uh, whatever. Okay. <clears throat> Let's start it up. You guys want to see how I start my streams up? I don't really do anything special. What's up, besties? Hey, guys. So I am all zipped up and packed in my checked bag. I'm going to weigh it really quick, even though I weighed it last night and it was at, like, 52. I'm hoping they're just going to let me be cool with it. If you don't have one of these and you travel often, I'd say invest. They're so good. You just turn it on. You clip your suitcase to it, and then you weigh it. It's fucking awesome. Okay. Let's see. Y'all are about to watch me lift. Okay. Set, reset. 51. I feel like I need to like lift it up higher to really know though, right? Yeah, we're at like 51, 52. So that is it for that bag. All right, let's see what I can take off my packing list. Not much, what the fuck? Oh my God, I did not mean to put my pimple patches away. I meant to wear them on the plane. Damn it, too late, erase. Pimple patches, packed. Okay, um, basically I've been standing around doing nothing actually is what I've just realized. I've, I've done nothing since last night. Okay, <laughs> we're going to now pack up my jewelry. We're going to pack up the jewelry. Um, This is frustrating. Okay, we're gonna pack up my jewelry. We're gonna put my tripod in. We're basically just gonna try to literally fit all the rest of the shit in those two bags. And pick out what jewelry I'm gonna wear for 10 days. How? 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 I act like I don't wear the same three necklaces all the damn time. Okay, let's do it. All right, y'all, so I actually have this cute little pink zipper pouch. Don't mind how dirty it is. I used it over the summer at the beach and stuff, but it's not like dirty, it's just like humid. Uh, <laughs> uh. 
Anyways, it's not very adequate for keeping jewelry in, but it does hold my rings and my bracelets just fine. They don't really get tangled. It's the necklaces that cause a problem, but I'm thinking of wearing a few necklaces and maybe just like putting my necklaces all in different like places so that they don't get tangled. I don't know. I don't know. For silver, we're gonna bring this necklace. I literally wear this necklace all the time. Yes, the little tag is still on it, and I've had it for like two years. We're gonna bring this. And then I'm gonna bring two Alex and Ani silver bracelets and this cute little... Uh, I forget what brand this is, actually. I can't remember because I found it on the streets. So... We're gonna bring these. This kind of goes under silver, but I have this cute little pearl butterfly necklace. Obsessed. And I rarely ever wear earrings, so I'm just gonna bring one pair of silver hoops because I honestly... For gold, I'm gonna go pretty light. I'm just gonna bring these two chains, this little D. I'm holding it backwards. This little D chain. And then I wanna bring this just baby girl necklace. Again, we're keeping it light on the gold, so just two little Alex and Ani gold bracelets, and then my favorite watch. And I've actually never worn this earring, but I love these type of earrings, so I got this cute little earring from Addicted. As you guys know, I love that brand. I'm waiting for them to want to collab with me, because I shop from them a little too much. But yeah, that's where we're at with that. And our jewelry is packed. I am just praying it doesn't all get tangled by the time I get there, which it probably will, but I need to buy something more efficient. Alright y'all, after packing and unpacking and packing and unpacking and weighing my bag a solid hundred times, I am at 50 pounds, like just exactly. So I snuck a little crew neck in there, that'll be the first thing that comes out if they don't let me slide, but they should let me slide. I'm traveling for 10 days. I, I physically can't help it. And I've taken out a lot of stuff and I've given up a lot of stuff. So we're down to that. Let me show you what we got going on. So I have that entire suitcase, 50 pounds right there. And I packed my duffel. It's a literally to the brim. <laughs> the zipper is going to pop open on me and I'm going to be fucked. So there's that. But I still have my backpack to pack shit in. It already has my ring light in it and it needs my laptop, my chargers. Definitely a purse, definitely my slides, my makeup, and two hoodies. <laughs> oh, and my tripod. Oh my god. This is so cute of me to think that I can do this. It really is. Okay. I'm gonna get back down into it. <laughs> Wish me luck. And all the shopping I was supposed to do today is not happening, obviously. I could just get everything that I wanted to get over there. I really only needed disposable cameras. And I wanted a case for this camera, but I will just be extra careful with it. <laughs> I feel like my last three updates have been exactly the same. But we actually have made serious progress now, okay? The duffel and the checked bag are done. I'm not touching them. I got the slides in there, so we're good on that. Now, I just need to manage to get that zip up, a purse, a backpack, my brush, a tripod. If I can fit that other sweater in there too, that'd be phenomenal. Um, I still need to take out my makeup, but I don't know if I'm going to put any on tonight, so I don't want to do that yet. And then once that's all in there, Shorty is packed. I'd be packed. Well, yeah, and I also got to figure out like where I'm putting my cart because... Where am I going to put my cart, actually? <laughs> okay, y'all. I have successfully packed. I mean, I guess, to the fullest extent. I can guarantee I'm going to get there and be like, why did I pack all this stuff and why was I struggling so much? But we have packed. Let me show you what I have going on. My backpack is packed. Yes. This is what I'll be wearing to the airport and home from the airport. I've always wanted to be one of those girls whose duffels matches their backpack, and now I am, so we love to see that. And you guys have seen the big ass suitcase, so I'm not going to show it to you again, but we're off.